Well, when you think about how much school has changed over the last few years, it's hard to imagine the transformations on the horizon. The Future of Education Technology Conference just wrapped up at the Orange County Convention Center. News 6's Julie Broughton shows us how educators and innovators are harnessing technology and getting results in our schools. So you are standing smack dab in the middle of the Future of Education Technology Conference, FETC's show floor. We have over 400 exhibitors here, uh, all ed tech providers. Thousands of educators were here exploring more than 4,000 exhibits showcasing the latest in education technology from drones to virtual reality and lots of AI. What we have to do is shift into like not being afraid of technology, embracing it. And so getting it into the hands of teachers, training them, then getting it into the hands of students so that they're using it and they're learning. Amy Dujon, the vice president of FETC, explained the show is designed to feel like a community, laid out in neighborhoods like Pitch Fest, Active Learning, and Emerging Businesses. So here's our AI generator. That's where we met Marley Strong, the co-founder of Scholar Education. And we're an AI-powered platform that's really focused on creating personalized learning for students. Strawn says this platform is designed to take the fear out of AI. So these AI-powered assistants were inspired by some very real Bernadoodles. Meet Baxter and Bruce. You guys are so good. They're brothers, they've never been separated, and they're about three and a half years old, and their personalities match their responsibilities at Scholar. So Baxter is a little bit more rambunctious, and that's why his personality lends itself well for the students. And then Bruce is a little stoic, and he's a little bit more well-behaved, and that's why he's the teacher assistant, Professor Bruce. Strawn showed us how scholar education works. This is the student portal. This is an example of a pilot lesson plan that our mm -hmm. teacher created. It's on sixth grade English. It's on the book A Wrinkle in Time, and it's on figurative language. Baxter Bot can offer hints and guidance and learns a student's reading level to tailor communication. I like up here he tells them not to discuss anything inappropriate. Yes, we have, we have a lot of guardrails in place. In fact, if the student does do anything inappropriate, the teacher gets an automatic right. notification. Strawn says this is the only platform of its kind created using teacher feedback. Well, we've helped implement 3,600 accommodations for special education students. We've implemented 45,000 personalized learning communications with BaxterBot, and teachers are saving on average five hours a week on lesson planning, grading, and supporting students. The goal here, not just to talk about the future, but to build it. What a cool convention. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and so she also talked about one thing teachers had said they noticed using BaxterBot is that the students asked more questions because they felt safe asking the dog avatar the question rather than raising their hand. Makes so they sense. Are definitely yeah. seeing results. And they're a Tampa-based company. They're in their pilot year right now, but they're expanding. And so if you're interested in bringing it to your school, we put a link for you on clickorlando.com. I'm terrified of AI, but if we could use it to help our teachers out and give yes. them a less stress Day, I think I mean, that would be cool. Saving them on average five hours a day that's doing a all these tasks. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. Worth looking into yeah. at least. All right, Julie, thank you.